with 23 Grand Slams under her belt. Serena Williams is the undisputed tennis queen, but her journey hasn't been so easy. Over the past couple of years, she's been juggling tons of things. Now, one would think with a baby, a business venture, and tennis on her palate, she might be struggling, but it looks like the queen has a routine in place. Let's talk about the lifestyle changes she made after becoming a mom, starting off with the changes she made in her lifestyle. For those of you who don't know, tennis isn't Serena's only passion. In fact, she's also a business owner and a mom of the very adorable Olympia. But with so much going on, how does she juggle it all and keep it from crashing? As it turns out, taking her calculated approach from the court to her home, she now has a foolproof plan that she adopts to balance her time among all three. Serena and her husband Alexis welcomed Olympia back in 2017, and ever since then, she's been allocating certain times of her day to certain activities. Pretty smart, right? According to Williams, she has a plan in place, and she follows it religiously anytime she has to prepare for a tournament. She starts off her day by practicing first thing in the morning. Then as the day progresses, she keeps all her VC calls scheduled for the afternoons, and then the rest of the time is for her baby. Now, while we say it like that, it might sound like fun, but all of us multitasking would know that it's easier said than done. As a mom, the pressure can be quite tough, both from the world as well as the pressure that comes with putting yourself on a pedestal. Plus, if you factor in all eyes that are on her, rooting for her to get that next slam, we can only imagine how she must be tackling it all. But kudos to the queen for making a routine and sticking to it. You got this, girl. And so, how does she feel about it? It's pretty apparent that she had a tough time getting back on the court ever since her pregnancy. But the star's taking it like a champion as she navigates the two different pathways of motherhood and is a 23 times Grand Slam winner. Talking to People magazine, Serena stressed how different this new phase of her life was for her. She even added that she would have never imagined six or seven years ago that she'd be having this very conversation about the different trajectory her life's been on. As fans, it's been tough for us to watch her transition from one big moment in her life to another, so we can only imagine how overwhelmed yet grateful she must be for this new phase of her life. Also, like every other mother, she goes through phases of mom guilt too. While talking about her child and the process of balancing her work and life along with her partner, she's often talked about how she's not immune to the mom's guilt either. While talking to Insider Magazine, Serena talked about how she's been having true, hands-on experience after Olympia, but even then, she struggles to balance the time she spends in her other activities with time dedicated to Olympia. Like every other mom, our queen is a tad confused too. If she's doing everything the way she should be, with so much going on, we don't blame her for questioning it all sometimes. In her own words, I don't know if I'm a good mom, and I don't know if my method works, but I'm very hands-on with my daughter. She also talked about how she's doing her best to create boundaries in life, to balance all the important things. But then again, the imposter syndrome and guilt come creeping in. When Williams spoke recently about motherhood guilt, it was only a few weeks after she claimed that she rescued herself in the hours after the birth of her baby. So, according to her, when Olympia was born, the tennis star almost died during childbirth, and it was only her perseverance that saved her. She opened up about how physicians were quick to dismiss her gut feeling, but she forced them to take quick action that helped steady her. Once some scans were completed, it was discovered that she had a potentially fatal blood clot in her lungs. All of this was then followed by a life-saving surgery. So, with all that's happened, it's completely understandable for Serena to be taking a breather and taking it slow. As of right now, she's doing what she does best. The tennis champion is back to her winning ways. With a mixture of power and some deep serves, she defeated Noria Diaz in the first round at the National Bank Open. And in other news, first off, chaos in tennis world as Serena Williams hints at retirement. The 40-year-old showed pure class as she won her first singles match in around 430 days, giving fans a glimpse of the old Serena we all missed so much. But along with that, she also dropped a bombshell that had some of us stunned. While talking to the media in her post-match conference, she talked about how she sees the light at the end of this tunnel. So, Serena was basically asked in the conference about what it was that kept her motivated to the game. But instead of giving us some vague answer, Williams dropped hints that currently her only motivation is the fact that she'll be retiring soon. Well, not in those exact words, but it kind of meant the same thing. In her own words, I can't wait to get to that light. Now, of course, the media wasn't going to let her make her retirement announcement this vaguely, and they asked her what she meant by the light, to which she responded, freedom. She also added that while she loves playing, she also knows that she can't keep doing this forever. She finally ended it by saying, sometimes you just want to try your best to enjoy the moments and do the best that you can. The news didn't come off as a surprise, considering the fact that she had been 
having a hard time on the court these past couple of years, but it's still nothing any of us were looking forward to. And like us, there were many fans who just couldn't digest the idea of Serena giving the sport up, even if she's been at it for decades. How about a couple of more years, Serena? We aren't ready to let you go just yet. Also, tennis fans are absolutely gutted by Victoria Azarenka's recent announcement. It looks like this just isn't a great week for all our tennis fans out there. As if Serena's subtle hint at retirement weren't enough, Azarenka made it public that she won't be participating in the Canadian Open, as she had to withdraw. Apparently, the Belarusian star tried her best, but she was denied a visa to enter Canada. With that said, the former world number one will be opting out. She's also pretty gutted. In her tweet, the 33-year-old mentioned how it was truly disappointing for her that she'd be missing out on one of her favorite tournaments. As of now, we have no intel on why Victoria was denied a visa for the region, but it's safe to say that fans are pretty mad. One reason why people are especially disappointed at not having to see her is that she was also banned from playing at Wimbledon after officials banned a number of players after Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Anyway, Tennis Canada officials did come forward, stating that Azarenka not getting the visa has nothing to do with her nationality and was only because of some other processing issues. They also added how Tennis Canada had been doing their best and working super hard to get Vika her visa. But unfortunately, the process turned out to be a tad too challenging. Gutted fans tweeted how they'll miss her in the tournament, while others wished good luck for Cincinnati. And finally, Emma Raducanu and her struggles on court. Things just aren't looking very sunny for some of our favorites as Emma, too, has fallen down after losing to Luidmira Samsanova in the quarterfinal for City Open. Her journey to the top at City Open ended and was a shocker for the people since it was the first time the Brit had managed to get to the last eight of any event ever since the Stuttgart Open in April. It felt like the universe just wasn't on her side as she could only manage eight ones and a solitary ace along with some very terrible 24 unforced errors while Samsonova racked up 33 winners in the whole match. But it's still commendable what she managed to pull off despite being injured. It looks like she may have been affected by blisters on her hands which she hoped hopes will not have a substantial influence on her playing in the future. But it's not all bad news for her, as the British number one gets ready to defend her US Open crown under the tutelage of Dmitry Tursnov. We can only imagine the magic they'd be whipping up together. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Serena's work-life balance and a potential retirement announcement? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.